officially off to another adventure, another wonderful car show for 2021. We are going to Bowling Green, Kentucky for Hot Rod Reunion. Are you excited? Of course I'm excited. What are you talking about? Hot rods, nostalgic drag racing, roller coasters, water slides. What's, what's there not to be excited about? It's going to be amazing. And we got the 55 rolling behind us. Good job, James. Super clean windshield. <laughs> like literally, it is bumper to bumper. Nobody can go anywhere and it's all hot rods coming out of here on like Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. That's cool. We're there, we're close. We can see this freaking roller coaster up here. I'm not kidding you, it's so cool. Do not. I was wondering if you could check my cylinders. I didn't think it was going to make it up that hill. So much fun and we haven't even gotten to the show yet. Why are you getting gas in the 32? This is not for me. Who's it for? Some poor unlucky soul who ran out. So did you guys run out of gas or something? I didn't run out of gas. Jeff ran out of gas. Thank you. It's his responsibility since he was captaining. Are you holding his hose, ship. Rob? Yes. being the treasurer. I just don't want to be the secretary. I think you guys missed a spot. <laughs> Day one at Hot Rod Reunion in Bowling Green, Kentucky. As you can hear, they're already drag racing. We're over at the swap meet right now, checking out some really cool stuff. Let's go take a look.
Beach Bin Raceway Park, Bowling Green, Kentucky. We are in the pits with the drag cars. I there. love that sound. I never get sick of that. It's the best, isn't it? It's so awesome. I mean, what? We're like two hours into this, and this is nuts already. First we haven't day. even seen the dragsters yet. Yeah. Or the funny cars. We're going to walk down through the pits. We're going to get some good footage for everybody. We're going to go talk to some guys and see what's up. It's going to be really awesome. Yes. All right, here with Cody Crone, who is 17 years old, and he is racing this monster right here behind him. Can you tell me a little bit about the car? Yeah, so this is a 21 McKinney chassis. Burns and gate fuel cars so are not running on my show. It's got a Donovan 388 in it. It's a 671 new Bruce blower. It's going to be running low sixes at about 220 miles an hour. 220 miles an hour. What? 220 miles an hour? Yep. How fast can this car actually go? And so, um, that's going to be pushing it pretty far. I think after everything's finally said and done, we might be able to get into the 230s. And then that'll be peaked out. And that'll be consistent runs, competitive and everything. So what's your goal in drag racing? Are you into preparing to be a professional drag racer for the rest of your life? Is this something I'd, I'd like to keep it as a hobby rather than do it as a profession. As weird as that is, mainly because I want to keep the enjoyment in it. So I've been racing since I was eight. I've been racing junior dragsters. So I've always seen it as an escape and something we're doing for fun. That's fantastic. That's, that's, that is a great attitude. I can see that you, your dad and you, you've got a really tight bond. And, uh, you've got your crew here, they're all working on the car. Amazing. I love coming to the track and love seeing it. A lot of families here. It's definitely a family sport. It is. Not a lot of loners here. It brings kind of everyone together. What are you guys up to? We want to get the guy working. Building a new wheel. Wow, this requires a lot of attention. A couple beads of sweat. How many pounds of pressure do you put in a a tire or a wheel like that. Somewhere between zero and ten. Thank you. I probably work on the car most every night for an hour or two. It's just, it's almost therapeutic for me. It's um, you know, my way of getting away from things. Daniel, a uh, dear friend who's still on the team, he was with me in 1972 when I started and we're still together today. He, he, he's, a, he's a wagon master. We run it, I'd say, a little bit more like the big show as far as the organization of the pit and how we set things up. And the guys we've got now are just really fantastic. They're just uh, several of the mechanics that work on big stuff like Caterpillar or uh, mining equipment and stuff that are really, really sharp. Probably got the best crew or as good a crew as we've ever had. And they're all dedicated, they love it, and then, uh, they just come in. Uh, two of them live in Salt Lake City, so they, they don't work in the car during the uh, between races, but they, they, they come into the race. Yeah. Um, and mainly, most of the work is done by Daniel and I in the, in the shop. It, we run it like, a, we're very serious about it, and um, some of the other teams probably aren't quite as serious to put the time in or, or energy, time, money, whatever it takes. They, then it's, for them, it's, um, a good weekend away and they have fun and they're enjoying it and that's great. And there's a few other teams like us that are serious and um, I don't know, it's just, just what we're about. And, and we run fast, we've been known to do that. We're the very first car to ever run 250 in a front motor car. So we set some records like that over time. Um, but it's who we are and what we do. I mean, um, I do, I, I'm pretty fit. I, I basically do CrossFit training and so it keeps me, doesn't let the old man in like you said. Um, so I think I'm as physically fit as any of the guys out here um, that are much younger than me. Um, I think that helps. I was 79 last Saturday. I'll be 80 years old in a year. Every car here has a story too. This car here has a story. That car over there has a story. And whether it be of somebody at the grandstands that loved watching that car, they the opportunity later to purchase it or do something with it and restore it back, yeah. they're going to do it. It's the love of this craft and this, this event is just unbelievable. I'm here with Craig at the swap meet with 
all kinds of awesome, anything awesome, you want. anything you want for a hot rod. The same path. Me and Craig met yesterday. He is, was born in the same town I was born in, Harrisburg, Kentucky. Kentucky. Yes. This is crazy. Yes. Uh, so small world. He's two years older than me, though. <laughs> I will tell you that. All right. Well, we're not telling you what years we were born. <laughs> It's day two at Hot Rod Reunion. You excited, James? Absolutely. I was thinking the same thing. Oh. Have you been drag racing all your life? Uh, yeah, about 12 years. I started with an alcohol car and then moved to this. This yesterday. is the first qualifying run. Is this your first, first time? To, so yesterday you didn't run at all? No, nah, we weren't able to quite make it. How long have you had your license? Uh, about three years. Yeah? Yep. Was it hard to get the license to drive this thing? Yeah, it took a little effort. Well, it took us a while because we hurt the motor. Uh, so we had to go back then and redo it. Well, good luck out there. Three or four times out testing, we had 11 runs, 11 or 12 runs, trying to figure out some issues. We finally chased them down, and everything's coming together this weekend. Car ran out, went 262 yesterday. It was awesome to see it come together. We'll see if we can go out there and make it stick again. I'm having a lot of fun. Met all my met all my childhood heroes so far. Carl Casper, uh, Bruce Larson, took pictures with him, and we're having a, we're having a blast. We're walking around, drag race and swap meet. owned by Don Montgomery, not George Montgomery, Don Montgomery, no relation. 
he raced a, 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 a Willys in the early 70s called the Rockerhead Willys. Well, he was selling his four-port. So I called him up, nice guy, sold me the four-port. And I, I went down to pick it up like this, and uh, I grabbed it, and uh, I, had, I had a pair of pliers, and I, I pinched my inner thumb here. I was like, ah! So he goes, take a comb out of your pocket, and hit and comb it, rub it, so it doesn't get a blood blister. So I said to him, I said, does it look like I need a comb? I always have a comb in my pocket. <laughs> Wait, I'm still not. Does does the comb deal work? Yes. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. What the f? Is he playing pretend? He's like I'm in a zoo. And everything coming through. Can no cage contain me? Y'all about to know the truth. Some people got can't box me out. I'm about to take off. That should do it. All right. Goodbye, Bowling Green, Kentucky. You know, I could go to a car show literally every weekend of my, the rest of my life. I just, I absolutely love going to these things and hanging out with my buds, hanging out with my family. If we could do this every weekend for the rest of our lives, I'd be a happy camper. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We had so much fun at Bowling Green this year. We got to meet so many awesome drag racers, get to meet some really cool fans, and also got to see some awesome old friends.